Mr. Francois van Skalkweg, the director of proceedings, potential investors, distinguished invited guests, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, a good afternoon to you all from Namibia. It is my great pleasure to welcome you to the Business Summit on Namibia's Renewable Energy. I would like to commend our Dubai Expo 2020 team and the Investment Promotion and Development Board for having arranged this important engagement. Countries around the world, including Namibia, are united in transitioning to a future based on renewable energy as we share the concern on the devastating impact of fossil fuel energy use on the environment. The globally adopted 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and the Paris Agreement on Climate Change have provided us with an ambitious framework to keep global warming within safe limits. The Republic of Namibia recognizes renewable energy as a solution to climate change. Recognizing the inevitability of the energy transition, we understand and accept that fossil fuel is no longer the fuel of the future, and that the world is transitioning to renewable energy. We are, however, also calling for an energy transition that is just and equitable among nations. In Namibia, we say no one should feel left out. We need to guard against an energy transition process that has the potential to adversely affect some without any mitigation. It is the case that countries that are highly dependent on fossil fuel for their socioeconomic development may need a little more time to transition than countries that have already made an inroad into the renewable energy space. Uniquely placed in Southern Africa, Namibia measures its wealth in many ways, from its world-class natural landscapes, its political stability and steady economic development, to its wealth in renewable energy resources. We have the world's second highest solar irradiation regime, high wind power potential, and potential for geothermal and bioenergy developments. The potential for green electricity production in Namibia is many times the country's domestic electricity consumption. As a demonstration to our commitment to the transition from fossil fuel energy, renewable energy features prominently in our economic recovery plan that was recently launched by His Excellency President Hange G. Gengob. As part of the recovery plan, Namibia has a goal to be a green hydrogen hub on the African continent. And to realize our goal, in August this year, we issued an international request for proposal to identify private sector investors to collaborate with us in building green hydrogen assets in Namibia. Several reputable companies responded to our RFP and we thank them for their interest in working with us. After a thorough and transparent assessment of all the bids that we received, during the COP26 held recently in Glasgow, President Gainkov announced Hyphen Hydrogen Energy as the successful bidder. We look forward to work together with Hyphen to realize our goal of becoming a green hydrogen hub. Given the size of the available renewable energy resources in the country, it is our intention to explore the idea of seeking other potential investors to collaborate with us. As to the global market for green hydrogen, there is now a global consensus that green hydrogen is the fuel for the future. According to a preliminary study that was done by the World Bank with regards to green hydrogen market, Namibia could produce highly competitive green hydrogen and with limited local demand, exports will be key 
to our green hydrogen strategy. On the energy policy front, Namibia's energy sector is premised on a diverse energy mix. And in view of the critical role that energy plays in the country's economy, the Ministry of Mines and Energy has developed the National Integrated Resource Plan. It is a long-term plan that guides the development of the electricity generation industry by providing supply scenarios to meet projected demand. The plan was drafted in 2013 reviewed in 2016, and it is currently undergoing another review that is expected to be finalized early 2022. The plan maps out the country's least cost electricity supply path into the future and includes an energy mix that optimizes Namibia's goal to become energy self-sufficient by using as far as the network allows indigenous renewable energy sources in the form of wind, solar PV, and biomass. We will do so while also ensuring base load generation options and storage to ensure stability and security of supply. The updated NIRP will have a base case scenario targeting a minimum of 70% share of energy to be supplied from renewable energy by 2030, as envisioned in the renewable energy policy. The plan also envisages that by 2028, 80% of primary energy used will be locally generated. Realizing our goal of becoming a green hydrogen hub and addressing our energy security of supply is a task that cannot be achieved by the government alone. To achieve our goal, we will rely on the private sector investment. We will need investors, both local and international, to invest in our energy sector. It is therefore our commitment to the investors that we will do all what is necessary to ensure that your investment in Namibia is protected and secure. As I conclude, I invite all potential investors that are visiting the Dubai Expo 2020 to visit the Namibian Pavilion to obtain more information on some specific investment opportunities that you may require. You may also wish to get in touch with the Namibian Investment Promotion and Development Board for any assistance that you may require as a potential investor. I wish you all the best and I look forward to meeting some of you in Namibia as investors and I thank you.